So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to build a flow that uses a recurrence and an OData action. So I'm here in the Maker portal and I'm going to go ahead and click on Flows. And then I'll click on the New button to create a new flow. And for this example, I'm choosing Scheduled from Blank. Next, you'll want to name the flow. So for my example, I'm going to call this Scheduled OData Action. Next, you'll need to select when you want this to start. So I'll start this at 10 a.m. in the morning, and I want it to run every one hour. So I'll click Create to start the new flow. If I want to edit the recurrence of this flow, I can edit that by coming up here into the recurrence and expanding it. I can also go into the Show Advanced Options and select a specific time zone and starting time for my particular flow. So what I'm going to do next is click to add a new step. So I'll select the Dynamics 365 for Fin and Ops connector, and then I'll choose the Execute Action option. This will now require me to select the instance. So I'll enter in the instance, and then in the Action drop-down box, I'll see a list of all of the OData actions that are available in my environment. For this example, I'm doing a simple um, export of a package for uh, a data management group. So I'll go ahead and select the option from the list called export to package. This will open up and I'll need to select some additional details. First, I'll need to specify the definition group ID. This is the name of the project from inside of finance and operations. So for my example, I have a simple customer group export that has been configured that I'm going to be running. The package name will be cust group export as well. I can leave the execute or execution ID empty, and I'll select to re-execute yes. And for my example, I will indicate that I'm going to do this for the USMF entity. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add another step in here to parse the JSON. So what I want to do with this is I want to take the output of the previous step and parse the JSON so I can get the details of the uh, package that has already been exported. I'm going to go ahead and generate from a sample and paste in my schema. The easiest way to get this schema is to first run the flow or test it. Uh, you may already know your schema as well, but for this example, I already ran this flow and uh, had that handy so I could copy and paste that in. So now that I've parsed the JSON, I'm going to go ahead and add another new step here. And for this example, I'm going to do a simple mobile notification. So I'll select the notifications option and select the option to send me a no mobile notification. In the text, I'm going to take the value from that uh, JSON that I parsed and then indicate has been exported. Now I'm ready to save my flow and then I can go ahead and test it by clicking on the test button. I'll indicate that I'm going to perform the trigger action and click test, and all I need to do is click run flow. I'll click done, and then it'll take me to the page where I can see the status of my flow. Here you can see the details and that all of the steps have occurred successfully. Now let's switch over to finance and operations, and I'll show you where you can see that this data management package has been exported successfully in the system. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate into the data management workspace. So I'll go ahead and scroll over to the right. Here you can see the, pa uh, the different um, projects that exist. So the project that I'm working with here is the Cust Group Export. I could click on this, but I can also go into the job history. So you can see that the cu um, customer group um, job was just executed a few minutes ago. Um, and I can see the details of exactly what was being done in that particular job. If I want to see the full details, I can click on execution details. Or if I wanted to see just the history of this particular job, I can open up that project and then click on job history at the top. Here you can see each of the different 
uh, jobs that have executed. If you click on a specific job ID, you can then view the details about that job and see exactly what data was exported. If I wanted to manually re-download that package, I could do that as well by clicking on that download package button. So now you've seen how to create a flow that uses an OData action. There are a variety of OData actions available out there in the system, and I could use a flow like this to actually orchestrate the movement of my file for an integration as an example.